Thank you. To ask the Scottish Government whether it has conducted an, any analysis of how many deaths on the A9 could have been prevented if it had been fully dueled. Minister. One death on our roads is one too many, and the tragic fatal accidents recorded on the A9 in 2022 and 2023 have occurred on dual and single sections. There will be families grieving, as there will be for all deaths on our roads. An assessment of potential future reductions in mortalities of dueling the whole length of the A9 has not been made. However, the 2016 case for investment for the A9 dueling programme between Perth and Inverness forecasted approximately six fewer fatalities annually following dueling. The compa this comparison is with performance prior to average speed camera introduction, following which there's been an average reduction of three deaths annually compared to baseline. This assessment will be updated as part of the work concerning the optimal approach for completion of the A9 dueling programme. And this goal, Heine. Well, the Minister is right. Uh, deaths on dual and single roads. But let me tell the Minister that deaths on single carriageway sections of the A9 have outnumbered deaths on dual carriageway sections by 20 to 1 over the past five years. 20 to 1. Dual carriageways in such an important route are much safer. Will the Cabinet Secretary be specific in Parliament and provide a timetable for the full duelling of the A9? And if unable to respond now with that, will the, will the Secretary commit to providing me with a written response this month? Minister. The Minister for um, responding. Um, on Tuesday, the First Minister announced the contract notice for the duelling of the Tomatin to Moy and that it has been issued, reaffirming this government's commitment to full duelling of the A9, and I would have thought the member would have wanted to welcome that. The Scottish Government will provide more detail, including timelines and detail, to full duelling in the autumn, as was planned and announced several times before the summer recess in this chamber to those MSPs who attended the chamber. A lot of supplementaries. I won't get them all in. I'll get in as many as I can. First, Jackie Dunbar. Thank you, President Officer. The First Minister has reaffirmed his cast iron commitment to the folk of the Highlands, and the SNP has a record of delivering infrastructure projects for Scotland that the Scottish Government will continue to deliver on. The cost of dual in Tomatin Tomoy has risen from £115 million to £150 million. Can the Minister outline what impact inflation caused by the Tory economic negligence and cuts to Scotland's capital budget is having on the Government's ability to deliver on projects like this? Minister. So the, the member makes an important point. I think the first point to make is we are going to duel the A9. The, the second... Uh, so I'm not sure if members, uh, President Officer, if I take the intervention of the questions from the heckling or whether I do it from the members. So in relation to what the member was asking, there is a significant pressure on the capital budgets of this government, not least because of the economic mismanagement that has taken place over recent times. The inflation aspect has had a considerable impact on construction costs, but the fact that our budget has not had a 7%, hasn't had an uplift for inflation has meant there's been a 7% cut in our capital budget. Despite that, despite that, you have had a commitment in the programme for government from the First Minister that we will duel the A9. 